In today's video, I will show you how I transformed into the film. Let's go outside and record our sketch. Yes? So in this video, I will talk about the following topics. How to change the hue of your skin to make it look like the Hulk. Partially have skin and partially have the Hulk. Like in this shot where the Hulk didn't want to come out. We're also going to talk about how to change your voice to make it sound like the Hulk. And then we're going to take a look at how to animate a real Hulk 3D character and put it in live CG action and make it throw away a vehicle. So that's going to be quite exciting. Let's get started. So the first shot that I had was this one right here. What I've done is created a new adjustment layer and I just masked partially my face. In After Effects, you can track that mask. So I will let that do its thing. And while it's tracking my face, let's go and search an awesome 3D model. So I came across this Hulk 3D model. It was free to download. I wanted to adjust my model anyway and start over for a big part, but I'm not a sculptor. I don't know the exact body anatomy to create a realistic looking Hulk. I thought this is a great start and I'm just going to add some more refinement and details to this model and then I would have a better result in less time. So it's all about being efficient. So what I've done with this adjustment layer is simply bring in the Lumetri color effect and play with the curves for the hue. I also played with the saturation and the luma to make it look like this. Then I also applied an unsharp mask here and I just increased the radius to something like 25. This is going to bring in a lot more detail in my skin, make it look a lot more contrasty and aggressive and this is exactly what I want for a mad Hulk. And that's basically it. I also changed the color of my eye and to do that I just used the track motion here in Adobe After Effects and I changed the color of my eye. If you'd like to see a detailed tutorial on how to change the colors of your eyes, I have a tutorial dedicated to just that, so I would definitely encourage you to go and check that one out. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, we have our 3D model and I import that into Cinema 4D. I added in a little bit more detail in the muscle and make the pack stand out a little bit more, not too much. As I always have a limited amount of time to create a video like this, I decided not to spend too much time in this part. But you could really Really get some awesome results if you spend the time sculpting a little bit more detail on your model. Then comes the part that you want to texture it. Having realistic looking skin, it's difficult. There are so many factors playing like the diffuse map, the specular map, the bump map, the roughness, displacement of the skin, but also the subsurface scattering. Now that my face transformation is rendered, I also want to change my voice. I already got my anger on point during recording. It also clipped the audio, but that's not a problem for today's video sponsor, Ecosonus. Ecosonus is in my opinion, one of the easiest tools to adjust your audio. In this case, I use their voice changer, but I also use their other plugins a ton of times when I'm editing my videos. Whether your audio is clipped or you have noise or you have a lot of pops or a lot of clicks and you want to remove those, it requires a lot of knowledge to fix those. But the Ecosonus plugins do all the work for you in a very intuitive way. Their UI is also super user friendly, so if you have no idea what you're doing, you will still figure it out because you simply have to drag it and play with a slider until you get the desired result you're looking for. They also have a bunch of presets for the voice changer. So in this case I use their voice changer to turn my voice into the voice of the Hulk. Who parks like this? You are so going to regret that! Who parks like this? You are so going to regret that. All right, so if you'd like to see more about Ecosonus, definitely check out the description for all the details and the link to Ecosonus. I would highly encourage you to check them out if you are struggling with getting crispy, clear audio. 
All right, back to the video. So now I have this whole model. I wanted to find a texture software and I know there are a bunch out there. And I found Quixel Mixer. So I started playing around in here to create my texture. I didn't get to all the fine details in the software, but I'm pretty sure it can do a lot. So I'm definitely curious to try it out more in the future. Then I brought back everything in Cinema 4D and I added some hair to my face. I also added a beard to the Hulk to make it look like me. All right, Black Friday is around the corner, so we will have a special deal for you. If you would like to know how to become an Epic VFX artist, this is your shot. This Friday, I'm opening the doors to the Epic VFX Academy for just a few days. I'm also going to accept a limited amount of students, this so we can guarantee everyone's success rate and I can give everyone the right amount of attention. So if you would like to learn visual effects from A to Z and also join me in live interactive Zoom meetings where we can discuss works and ask questions, then this might be something for you. More on this this Friday and for the people that are already a part of the free VFX training series, they will get notified earlier. If you aren't a part of that as well, it's completely for free. Link is in the description below. You might go and check that out already. I'll see you Friday and for now, let's continue with the video. I really enjoyed how this one came out here. You can see that the hair on the Hulk really looks pretty realistic. I'm really satisfied with the result here. All right, so now that I have my model completely done, I still need to rig it and put a skeleton inside of it. And then I need to also animate it. So that's going to be a lot of work, right? Well, luckily for me, Rococo was so nice to send me over a Smartsuit Pro. This Smartsuit allows me to motion capture my movements and turn it into a 3D rigged character using their software Rococo Studio. I think they're called Rococo. I keep saying Rococo. 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 Anyway, I captured this movement and basically what they allow you to do is export it as a Mixamo skeleton. And this is super useful because we can actually rig our character as well using Mixamo.com. So I simply export my 3D model of the Hulk and I import that in Mixamo. I just let the auto rigger do its thing and then import it back into cinema. Then I parented the animation from Rococo Studio to the 3D Hulk character from Mixamo that I just imported and I get this result. Now I have the Hulk that is doing this animation. Unfortunately, I don't have the smart gloves yet from Rococo, so I had to do the finger animation by hand, but it was really necessary to make it convincing, otherwise it would be unrealistic. I also added some bumps and displacements to the actual position where the hands are grabbing the car so it actually looks like it's being crushed. And then I hand animated that car to make it look like it's being thrown away. So yeah, I know, it's been a ton of work. I've really discovered a ton of new cool techniques in VFX so that got me really exciting. But this is my final result. Gotta be who barks like, like this? this. You are so going to regret that. <laughs> Don't mess with the hook. All right, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Also, be sure to subscribe for more and definitely hit the notification bell to stay notified when I upload new videos. And for now, I will leave you with another video of mine. You can check it out here and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, create epic videos.